Zack Snyder revealed that setting Man of Steel within the Dark Knight universe was at one point not 100% off the table. Snyder, of course, relaunched DC's film universe with Man of Steel in 2013, which starred Henry Cavill as Superman and also counted filmmaker Christopher Nolan as among its producers and writers. Nolan was known for being protective of his Dark Knight trilogy, wanting it to stand apart from any spin-offs or larger plans at DC. Yet, as Snyder recalls it, in the early days of developing the property after he was hired in 2010, it wasn't totally out of the question for Man of Steel to take place in the same universe. While speaking to MTV's Josh Horowitz on Wednesday, Wednesday's episode of the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast, the filmmaker noted it was not 100% off the table. We did talk about it a little bit. However, Nolan's 2012 conclusion to his Batman trilogy, The Dark Knight Rises, ended with John Blake, played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt, taking over as Batman for Christian Bale's Bruce Wayne, which Snyder said could have been a factor, adding, maybe that's why we didn't do it. It would have been Joseph, which could have been cool. Ultimately, the idea never came to fruition, something Snyder didn't mind. I don't blame him. I like that his thing doesn't get muddied by these other touches. Elsewhere, Snyder also recalled the early days of developing the 2016 sequel film, Batman vs. Superman, where the filmmaker revealed that he actually spoke to another actor a lot about playing Batman when it was unclear Ben Affleck would join. Belgian actor and filmmaker Matthias Schoenarts. Snyder noted, he never got in the suit, but I did do a bunch of mock-ups of him because Ben was on the fence, and I don't blame him. Everyone should be on the fence when you're asked, do you want to play Batman? For more on Zack Snyder's conversation on the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast, head to the article on THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Neha Joy.